In the second week of fetal development, the primordial germ cells, which will become the oogonia of the ovary, form in the epiblast of the embryo. They migrate to the yolk sac near the allantois, and between the fourth and sixth week, they then migrate back into the body of the embryo, traveling from the rectum to the gonads. Here, they begin to divide by mitosis, although the mitosis is often not complete, forming cell clusters known as syncytia, in which cytoplasmic connections remain between the cells. The primordial germ cells have become oogonia by weeks five to eight, and these oogonia will last until about 30 weeks. Their mitosis will produce six to seven million oogonia by the fourth to fifth month of fetal development. Beginning in the second trimester and ending around the time of birth, there are a number of changes which occur in the fetal ovary. The six to seven million oogonia, which exist around the fourth or fifth month of fetal development, become the oocytes which begin meiosis. Thus, after birth, a woman would no longer possess the oogonia, which can start gametogenesis, and there would be a fixed number of gametes that she can make in her lifetime. These oocytes, as they begin meiosis, will go through most of the stages of prophase one of meiosis, but then pause in the diplotene or dictate stage of meiosis. So while meiosis begins before birth, it pauses near the end of prophase one. It will not resume until after menstrual cycles begin later in life.